As we honor the brave men and women who protect our country every single day, we'd like to focus on a company that helps protect them as well. Espeto provides products and services for those who serve and have served our country. They have also created America's first bullet-resistant clothing line and developed female tactical gear. Joining us now, Abbas Haider, founder and CEO of Espeto. Abbas, it's great to have you on the program. Let's start off first by talking about um, what this initiative means to you. Um, how it's helping uh, the men and women who serve? Well, Espeto, uh, first off, Jackie, thank you for having me. Um, Espeto uh, basically provides innovative solutions to the federal government, military, and our intel community protecting their uh, interest, assets, and uh, as well uh, as their infrastructure. Uh, as you said, we're also America's first bullet-resistant clothing line. Uh, our focus is not just the members who are currently serving, but as well as when they transition out. And we do that with the products that we develop, uh, as well as our digital media division called Pop Smoke Media that has almost a million followers that are all DOD veteran community. And we give them that sense of uh, community through that platform. And in your experience um, with the veterans themselves um, and those who are on active duty, what has this meant to them? Well, they're very appreciative. I mean, uh, you were talking about the female-focused body armor. So uh, women in the military have been wearing men's body armor for mm -hmm. so long. And it causes, it affects their mobility, it affects their safety. It's just not comfortable. So we worked with the U.S. Air Force um, for quite a long time and developed a solution that was extremely light um, as well as uh, a better form-fitting solution. And you have to understand that soldiers carry a lot of weight and if their body armor is heavy and it doesn't fit well, uh, it's going to cause injuries. And those injuries actually follow even after you transition out. So we're really focused on continuously developing better body armor and just better solutions. You know, it's so interesting to me, Abbas, because these are the things that we don't think about when people are yeah. serving, the injuries that occur. At, you know, we just think about them on the front lines, and obviously they provide such a wonderful, great service. Um, but sometimes these injuries, when they come back, they, they plague them forever. And so I'm sure a lot of people are um, reaping the benefits of this. Talk to me a little bit about the relationship the company has with the U.S. government as well and how you're getting your clothing into the field? So um, we have different divisions. As I said, you know, we've got the digital media division that connects with our end user directly. Uh, but we are one of the top DOD suppliers for, for body armor. I started this company back in college. Uh, right, af uh, right after we graduated, we got into uh, the ballistic clothing piece was actually created senior year of college. So we've got quite a little bit of experience um, working with the government at this point, when the government is looking for innovative solutions in their in their gear, they do turn to us. Um, so that's uh, you know that's basically how we're we're connected with the government. And really quickly, how'd you get the idea? Um, I had an I had a clothing line freshman year of college, and uh, senior year of college at the University of Mary Washington, we had a class project where we had to take a product from America and market it overseas. Mm -hmm. um, and our professor suggested to our group that why don't you take one of Abbas's products? And I didn't want to take just clothing to another country, and I wanted to focus on uh, on the Middle East. And at that time, there was a war going on, and the first thing you think of Middle East was war. Uh, bombs, bullets, yeah. uh, weapons. So I'm like, okay, how about we combine armor and clothing together? And we did some research. There was nobody in America doing it. And uh, we developed a prototype. And before we could even Good present our product to class, we were already talking to a three-letter agency. Abbas Haider, innovating with purpose. Um, thank you so much. And thank you, of course, to all the men and women who serve our country and the veterans as well. Yeah. Thank you for having me.